All right, YouTubes, we're back. We're gonna be doing a, we're doing square ground right now on a 325 chain. Uh, this is for Rocky Mountain chain, so uh, we're gonna be throwing this on a MS 250. Yeah, we're gonna run it against a uh, Pulse Form uh, 880. We're gonna see what she does. So let's let's get after. I already done most of the chain, but I figured I'd just bring you along for a little while. And then, uh, yeah, we're uh, me and Rocky Mountain Chainsaw are gonna be doing a couple of videos tomorrow together. We're gonna be doing some pipe work and some cutoffs, and we're gonna it's gonna be a good time. Uh, get some stuff ready for a pipe, a couple of race pipes, and then we're gonna have some fun with some saws too. You know, CPI race pipes. Uh, I'm also Rocky Mountain Chainsaws bringing me up uh, some toys to, to go through. Ooh. That's got a little bit too much side beak on it, but that's okay. So this little contraption, I got that idea from John Riley when, when he does his filing. It does make it a, so much easier. And with these double bevels, I really like these double bevels. I think I like them better than the triangle files because it gets the side plate a little bit better in my opinion now my opinion's about as good as a as a donkey's butt because everybody's got one but it's just my opinion um i'll bring get you guys a close-up on a couple of these and how how it gets the gullet um and how it gets down into this side plate right here now I'm also kind of getting down underneath and checking the my lines and everything, making sure they're all good. But this is like the best setup that I've got that I have found for doing square ground chains. Um, that's how I set up my race chains. In here, I need to come in here and cut this part down and this part down a little bit, so then it pinches a little better right there. Um, but the thing I've noticed with these ones, man, they they like to clog up full of shavings really quick. Uh, they are quite a bit more expensive than the triangle files that you get from steel. But, uh, well, they're almost double the price per file. But I, I just, I sure do like these files. And if no one's ever actually done a square ground on a smaller chainsaw chain oh makes the world a difference it makes that saw feel like a, a lot bigger than it actually is now is there a lot better people than me at square grinding or square filing oh i'm betting money there's a whole bunch of people john riley's one of them um i don't know a whole lot of the race guys and um on how they do their chains but I know there's a ton of people that do a really good job um, square grinders oh, there's there's a lot of a lot of good square grinders out there which is on my to-do list is once I get the sh you know more income coming in is getting a square grind machine and cut my time down quite a bit it would definitely be a lot better than and doing race chains than it is this because man race chains take forever to do uh, and they cost a fortune to make for people too this one needs a little bit more love now now I'm wiping all the crap off out of this file because it gets clogged up really quick and that, that just kills a file. It's running over itself. 
how many times. You know, and I am done. This one needs a little bit better love. We'll, we'll get this one a little bit better. Now, there we go. Well, that's cleaned up quite a bit. So I'm gonna get you off this here tripod. Ignore the, the shaking wobblies and ignore the light. There we go. Now there is square ground. Well, square filed. That is a focus. Focus, McLovin. There we go. Oh, maybe too much. Uh, there we go. And then there's my side plate. Side plate on that one. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Yep. Now... We're gonna have a good time over at up in Idaho doing these pipes and stuff. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. There we go.